Hi everyone, my name is Abel Gray Kantoma from Greatest Design Consult. This is my WhatsApp contact. You can reach me on this number or call me on any of these numbers, okay? Today I'm going to be showing you some great tips about uh, uh, Prota structure that uh, a lot of us don't really take advantage of. If you come to your review tab here, you will see relabel members, move members to access, delete on use uh axis fix orthogonal axis porch sections okay so i will quickly be showing you uh some great things you can do here at your review tab all right as you can see here this can quickly help you to rename all your members in a case where you insert your structural members randomly Probably you didn't take out your time to arrange them as it's supposed to be. Uh, once you click on relabel members, it will actually pop out a menu for you to uh, specify how you want this arrangement to be like from left to the right, which you can see here. This is left top to the right bottom, which is the best uh, arrangement so far that you can do. You can select each of the structural member you want to rearrange and automatically the software will rearrange the members uh, for you. So if I click on OK and I click on Yes, automatically it will go. It is going to rearrange them. Now, if I try to zoom this, you will see this is beam 1, this is beam 2, this is beam 3, this should be 4, this is 5, this would definitely be 6. So you can see this is basically what this uh, relabel does for you. And similarly, for your column, you can see this is column one, column two. You don't have to uh, take your time trying to arrange the columns uh, properly. Once you insert your columns, make sure they are inserted properly. Make sure the cross section is OK. And once you insert them, you don't need to worry about it. You can insert this one, insert this, and come back and insert this randomly. And then the software can help you rearrange all of that. Similarly, for your slab as well, you come, this is slab one, slab two, uh, slab three, slab four. Okay, so these are the panels one, two, three, four. Like that, it goes serially. So it helps you to arrange them properly so it's similar for every other structural member that is basically what it helps you to do and then move members to axis in a case where some of the members are actually go off going off the axis it helps you to actually move them you can easily delete an unused axis in a case where you have an axis that is not uh, used in the model there are cases like that uh, let's say you introduce a grid here uh, this happened mostly in the case where you try to import your drawing maybe from AutoCAD okay when you import that drawing sometimes because this drawing has been done in AutoCAD there are a lot of human errors sometimes you may include some grids that are not going to be useful or there are no structural members that are going across that grid so that grid is actually unused. So in that case, um, Prota structure can help you easily take off that uh, particular grid. Okay, so uh, let's try this out and let's see how effective this can be. So um, another very key um, tool here you can see is the porch section. Uh, if you are familiar with your AutoCAD, there is a tool that is called Porch. That helps you to remove every unwanted uh, uh, elements that are in your drawings that are not useful. So it helps to reduce the size. Okay. So um, once you click on Porch section, if you have any of those uh, in your section, mostly when you are dealing with a very large project and irregular shapes, okay, where the panels are not uh, uh, 
regular you have a lot of irregular shape the model is very large in that case you most likely uh, need to purge okay when you purge it brings up out the list for you here and all you need to do is just to click on purge and then it helps you to purge your entire model so it helps in reducing uh, the size of that model for you okay uh, you can easily check your slab section uh, although the analysis um, you can also check the wall thickness member property visual interrogation I'm sure most of us are already very familiar with that um, but I can quickly just show you that uh, this is actually coming from our visual interrogation which is giving us the list the red means it has failed the yellow means uh, warning this means it has expired okay so if you check this model you see that uh, it has not been designed which is the white okay then this blue means do not design when you come to your visual interrogation any of these that you select you can see it's changing here so whatever you want to uh, check in your model you can quickly do that but that always come after when you have done your analysis and your design so you can see this can show you the the status of your pile capacity okay the strong column or weak uh, beam check and all of that so all of these can be done but the analysis has to be done first before you do that then you can also check uh, your column section you can see this brings out the list of uh, the column sections you can see this is 225 by 225 this is circular column this one is 230 by 230 uh, size of column so but um, like you know let me quickly run the analysis for this so that uh, we can have a better picture of what i am talking about so i'll quickly run the analysis so when you check after the analysis you realize that this one is 230 by 230 this one is 225 by 225 so you can see that means we have three different column cross section in this particular model and that is the list it has actually brought out here that is basically what it does for you you can see this one is design status which you can definitely also get from your visual interrogation as well uh, as you can see um beam section this one gives you in terms of uh, color based on the uh, cross sections of those beams so you can see this one for 230 by um, 450 it's actually yellow the one 230 by 300 is actually green um, and then the cross section is all boldly written here uh, material this tells you based on uh, the grade you can see this one is 20 slash 25 this one is for steel um then beam wall type is actually manually imputed um slab additional loads you can see the one here is for the room this one i just use this to transfer the load from the roof uh to the roof beam um life load and that's basically uh, it so uh, this is actually a very great place to uh, always come while you are done with your analysis and your design in order for you to have a double check of how your model is like in a play case where you have different cross section if what you have proposed is what is on the model uh, because like you know there are always human errors probably while you are modeling or while you are importing uh, there could be one or two errors okay 
so like this one now you can see this is supposed to be the same cross section all over but you can see this is there is a difference of 5 mm in this uh compared to the other ones so this is 225 by 225 this is 230 by 230 so these are some of the uh importance of coming here to do all of this uh, review okay so if you love what you are seeing make sure you like this video just give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel it's actually 100 percent free click on the bell icon so as for you to get a notification whenever i post videos post videos like this on a weekly sometimes on a daily just to encourage as many that actually want to have a deeper insight of design okay so down below the description of this video you have the youtube uh, channel link is there you can visit the channel to actually keep yourself busy make sure you stay safe and stay blessed